Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we understand our question. We must create a class person with default values of the name and it is the string name as person and then the integer age as zero and then the program must accept the query from the user and based on the query number will going to print the output so if the query is one means then we have to print the default name and age separated by colon and if the query is two means then we have to accept the name of the person and print the name and the default age separated by column and then if the query is three means the program must accept the name and age of the person and then print it separated by colon so yeah now we'll have a quick recap so we have to create a class person with default values of string name as person and the integer age as zero the program must accept the query number and if the query is one means then we have to print the default name and age separated by colon so here it is default age and then if the query is two means then the program must accept the name and print the name and default age separated by colon and then if the query is three means then the program must accept the name and the age of the person and print it separated by colon so now we'll take our first case so here the query number is one so if the query is one means then we have to print the default name and the default age separated by colon so the default name is person and the age is zero so they must be separated by colon and this will be our output now we'll take our another test case so here the query number is two so we must accept the name of the person so this is the name and we must print the name given by the user and then print the default age 
so the default age is zero and they are separated by colon and this will be the output now we'll take the other test case so here the query number is three so in the query number is three we must accept the name and the age of the person so the name would be captain and the age is 45 so we must print them separated by colon so captain colon 45 so this will be the output now let us solve this program in java programming language so this is the public class hello and this is the main method and then using the scanner class we create scanner object and get the input and then we get the query as the input and then we have the object for the class person as null and then if the query is equal to equal to one means we will assign p to the instance of the class so person of which uh, which tells it's a constructor and then else if the query is equal to equal to two means we'll get the name as the input and then assign p to the instance of the class with the argument name and then if the query is three means we'll get the name and the age as the input and then assign p to the instance of the class person with arguments name and age and finally we'll print the object p as output so now let's see what is it in the class person so we will have the string name and the integer age as private and then for this constructor public person so in this constructor we have the default name and the default age so we will we'll print this as it is so this name person and this age is equal to zero So now after this for the next query that is if the query is equal to 2 then we have to accept the string name as input so this name will be changed to the name that we got as input and the age is default by 0 and then if the query is equal to equal to three means we are going to get both the name and the age from the user so here we have the arguments with the string name and in integer age so here this age is equal to age and now we have to print the object so here we have at override and the public string to string of and inside this we are going to return this dot name plus a colon which will separate them and this dot h so yes we are done with the program